If you're like me and you just built a new gaming PC, don't throw out your old one. Turn it into a streaming PC. I'm going to show you how. Before you get started with the dual PC setup, you're going to need some, some parts. The first part that's probably the most important is a capture card. So I've had the Elgato HD60 Pro capture card for a number of years. I don't even know when this thing came out. Well, this capture card is great for this purpose. It, although it only does 1080p 60fps, a lot of people out there tell you if you have 144 hertz plus monitor, you can't use a capture card like this. And you, you, know, you have to use a different setup. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it. The next piece of equipment you're going to need is some sort of audio mixer. So I'm using the Go XLR Mini, but you could use the Go XLR full size, the Elgato Wave XLR. You could use any number of audio mixers. But I personally went with the Go XLR just because of the reviews. I know the company has kind of stopped support for the device, and you know it could go obsolete at some point if it's with some Windows updates or something. But I don't really care. Um, it's it's probably one of the best in the market. You're going to need a couple of these 3.5 millimeter audio cables. This is to connect your Go XLR to your stream PC for audio from your gaming PC into your stream PC, and then also from your stream PC into your Go XLR so you can hear alerts and, and notifications from your stream PC. You're also going to need a couple of these ground loop isolators. So these connect in line with the, the 3.5 millimeter audio cables between your Go XLR and your stream PC. And what this is going to do is it's going to get rid of any of that white noise and you know crackling sounds that's going to happen when you connect two powered devices together with a 3.5 millimeter audio cable. So I bought a couple of these and I just put them on those two lines, the one from the, the line out on the Go XLR to the stream PC line in, and then one from line out on the stream PC to line in on the Go XLR. I just put these these ground loop isolators right in line, and that's it. And I don't need to tell you that you need two PCs in order to make this setup work. So if we take a quick look here, this is my setup. Um, I got three monitors across the bottom here. Those three go to my gaming PC, and this top monitor here, that goes to my streaming PC. My streaming PC was my old PC that I upgraded, um, has an i5-8700K and a GTX 970, pretty basic. And then the new PC has got an i7-13700K and a RTX 3060 Ti. So you don't need the craziest PCs in order to make the setup work. Um, we have the Go XLR here on the desk with the Stream Deck right next to it. That Stream Deck plugs into our Stream PC, by the way. Under the desk, we just have some horrible cable management. Don't pay attention to that. From the back of your gaming PC, you're going to want to take an HDMI cable from your graphics card and you're going to run that over to your stream PC and you're going to plug that into the in port on your Elgato HD60 Pro capture card and we can see that's where the capture card is and we just have one cable going into that capture card and for your audio cables you're going to want to take the ground loop isolators plug them into your 3.5 millimeter audio cables we're going to take one cable to the line out port on your streaming PC and you're going to plug that into the line in port on your Go XLR, and then the other cable you're going to go from the line out port on the Go XLR to the line in port on your stream PC. I threw together this horribly cringe Photoshop of the actual physical connections of this setup, and yes, I know I changed my outfit. This diagram is is pretty accurate, but it's it's kind of gross, but if you can get past the, the horrible graphic design skills that I have. Um, you can see on the left side we have our stream PC and on the right side we have our game PC and we can see all the, the physical connections between all the components that make this setup work. We have our monitor connections down to each of our monitors. Um, obviously you can, have, you can have whatever kind of monitor setup you want. Um, we have the, the HDMI cable over to our HD60 Pro capture card. We got controllers, keyboards on both PCs. We got the stream deck over here on the stream PC. We have a, a webcam and a ring light over here on the stream PC. We have our headset connecting to our Go XLR. Um, we have the ground loop isolators between the the line out and line in on the stream PC. So this this diagram, although it's it's cringe and not very good, this drawing helps explain the the physical connection to the setup. But I'm going to get into some of the you know the, the granular settings now that we have everything hooked up correctly. Now, some of the important settings that, that you're going to need to do this. Um, first, kind of most important setting is we're going to want to go to our NVIDIA control panel. So we're going to open that up here. Now you're going to see in here I have four connections on my game PC. I have three monitors across the bottom and one on top. The three across the bottom, those go to my gaming PC. 
and the one on top that goes to my stream PC because I, you know, I, I do most of my Discord, my my video watching, my stuff like that on my gaming PC. My stream PC, because it's the lower end PC, is only there for streaming and recording. You're gonna ask yourself, why do we have four? And that's our Elgato. So we're gonna have to connect from our graphics card on our game PC an HDMI cable from a port on the graphics card on our gaming PC over to our streaming PC into the in port on our HD60 Pro Capture Card. And what this is gonna do, now that we have this set up correctly, we're gonna be able to send an exact mirror of our middle monitor, your main game monitor, over to your stream PC. And that's what I do. I have my, my middle monitor mirrored an exact copy over to our stream PC. So as you can see, we have the Elgato running at 144 hertz, and my main gaming PC is also at 144 hertz. And this is what throws off a lot of people with this capture card and this setup is they don't get the full 144 hertz off of whatever monitor they're playing on. With this setup, you get full 144 hertz on your gaming PC, on your main monitor that you're using. And then your capture card is capturing at 1080p, 60 FPS, or whatever you change it to. You're not going to get 144 hertz across the, the capture card because that thing's only capable of doing 60 FPS. I'm going to go to the Setup Multiple Displays button, and we're going to see the Elgato is going to show up here. So we're going to create an, a duplicate image from our main monitor, and then it's going to go out two ports of our graphics card. It's going to go out the one port that goes to our main monitor, and it's going to go out the other port that's going to go straight to our capture card. To do that, you just click, right-click, clone with, and then we clone. Just to prove that we're actually getting the full 144 hertz of my monitor here, I got the UFO test here. We'll refresh the page, We'll, you know, so I'm not faking it. Um, we can see the frame rate at 144 FPS, the refresh rate at 144 hertz. So if you have a 240 hertz monitor plus 175, whatever it is, this setup will work for you and you will be able to use the full capabilities of your monitor. The next bunch of settings that's fairly important for this setup is your, your audio mixer. So in the GoXLR software here, because I'm using a GoXLR, we're going to, we're gonna, I'm gonna walk through the, the different settings here. So the mic, obviously with the GoXLR, you're gonna need a, an XLR mic. I just have, I had an old one lying around. Um, the XLR cable goes right into the back of the GoXLR. We're gonna have my headset cable going into the front of the GoXLR into the head, headphone jack. We have the USB cable coming out of the, the GoXLR and going to my gaming PC. The USB cable goes from the GoXLR to the gaming PC. And then we have from the line out on the GoXLR, we have a uh, 3.5 millimeter audio cable with that ground loop isolator plugging into the line in port on our stream PC. So that's gonna send audio from the GoXLR, which is our gaming PC essentially, over to the stream PC. And then also we're gonna need another 3.5 millimeter audio cable with the ground loop isolator plugged in to the line out port on our stream PC to the line in port on our GoXLR. And that's gonna give us the ability to listen in our headset to alerts, music, whatever you're doing on your stream PC will play back into your headphones. So the first tab here is the mic tab. I don't really touch anything here. You can play with it depending on your mic. It's you know a bunch of different settings for you know quality of audio, gain, release, tack, whatever. Don't care about that. Our mixer tab here. So the, the GoXLR Mini has four faders. Um, I just have them set to channel one is my, my fader one is my mic. Fader two is my chat or discord. Channel three is my music or um, like Google Chrome, whatever. Um, if I'm listening to music, watching YouTube, whatever. And then line four is just overall audio. This tab doesn't really matter that much because it's, it's all personal preference. It has nothing to do with the, the final setup of this to make it work. Cough button, don't care about that. Lighting, although sick, don't care about that. The tab that really matters is the routing tab. We have the outputs on the left and your inputs on the top. So for my headphones output, which comes straight to my headphones out of the headphone port on the GoXLR, I have everything selected. So my headphones hear everything. The broadcast stream mix, I'm not doing much with that. Um, don't even know what that does. The line out, this is important to send audio to your stream PC. I have everything here selected except for line in. Having line in here selected could, could create duplicate sounds because we're having 
sound from our stream PC also be fed into our stream PC if that makes any sense. And, and we don't want that. So that's the only one we're going to want to uncheck here. Everything else, unless you don't want to send your music or your Discord or your mic for some reason, if you don't want to send that type of audio to your stream PC for your stream to hear, turn that off. Otherwise, everything else is just going to stay turned on. So over here, we're on our stream PC, and we're going to use this software called OBS. I'm sure you're familiar with that. And in this software, you can set up your chat boxes, your, your sources, your scenes, um, alerts. I have a horizontal stream setting here, which is actually recording right now. I have a vertical plugin, so I can, I can stream vertically to TikTok or YouTube. Um, but the, the setting that we actually care about in here is, is really just adding a source. It's fairly simple. We're going to go to Add video capture device and because I already have this created it's not going to look exactly the same but we're going to go add new and then our device game capture HD 60 Pro should show up here if you've installed the drivers and everything went smoothly with the with the capture card install um, we should see that here you should see a preview of the screen and then there's really no other settings you can change you can you know mess with some of these but I, I don't um, and you would click OK it would show up but because I'm recording here we would have <laughs> I can click this button and and essentially this is my my gaming screen right here this screen that is showing up on our stream PC in OBS is the middle monitor of my gaming PC so that's everything I do down here on my gaming PC is duplicated straight to stream so everything I do on this monitor it doesn't matter if I open a game if I open YouTube if I file browse whatever everything on this middle monitor is going to be duplicated and sent to stream so that's just something to keep in mind if you know you're if you're doing banking while streaming don't put it on the monitor that's getting sent over to your stream so last settings that we really care about to get this up off the ground and running are our audio settings in here we have all of our playback or all of our audio channels um, I have all my monitors the Elgato I have all those disabled because I don't use them the go XLR mini is gonna come out with five audio channels we're gonna have chat game music sample and system um, I have chat set to my default communication, so that's how I can hear, you know, game chat, stuff like that, that I put in the game settings. I put my voice chat device as the chat of the Go XLR Mini, and then I have system set to my default device. And then in the, the, in the Windows settings, you can specify what audio output specific applications will output to. So for example, my, my Google Chrome or my iTunes, I have that going out to the music device, and then for discord i have that coming out to the chat device so that's how you can kind of customize and use your your faders on your go xlr under the recording tab we just want to make sure that the go xlr mini chat mic is our default device and that's all we really care about we have to make sure we set our audio settings on our stream pc as well um same same menu under the playback tab we're going to want to set our default playback device to our line out so I have the line out here labeled. I changed the name line out to go XLR. That's going to send audio to the go XLR, which in turn sends it to our headset. And then under the recording tab, we're going to, want to make sure we're recording with the line in device. And that's our go XLR into our PC. So once we have those settings done correctly, we can come into OBS here under the settings audio, our desktop audio is just our default, which is going to be our line out device. That's our default device for playback. And then our mic auxiliary input device is our line in device. And then if we go to the audio mixer here, you can see that I have two audio mixes here and it's the game PC. As I'm speaking, you can, you can see the, the volume going up and down. And then if there's any music or alerts playing on our stream PC, that would be under the stream PC bar here. And that's all there is to it. You don't need a, a stream PC that's, you know, beefy, super powerful. Just work on the, the OBS settings for output that work best for you and your internet speeds and your specs of your PC. Your gaming PC should now have vastly greater FPS and performance now that all of those streaming processes are offloaded onto the stream PC. And that's it, man. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'll try to get to as many as I can. Have fun. <coughs> <coughs>